Hearn artist David Michael Brady has seen the world. As a construction inspector, he traveled to Peru, Chile, Bolivia, and all over Europe. But David's passion in life is art. And after inheriting his grandparents' land in Hearn 12 years ago, Brady dropped his job and concentrated on what he loved the most. If you want to sell vacuum cleaners, you probably make better money at it. <laughs> Out on this country road just north of Hearn, David Michael Brady is hard at work. It's not a glamour lifestyle. Uh, I'm not in it uh, to be a millionaire, for example. And you have your own churches. Brady is a multi-platform artist, meaning he doesn't just paint, but he also creates pottery. My objective when I got out of school was to be a, a, a professional artist of some, of some sort. After a successful career in construction, Brady decided to make money with his hands doing a different type of dirty work. She has lived in the same home on that hill for 85 years. His oil paintings are reflections of his world travels and his style imitates his favorite artists, Pablo Picasso and Vincent Van Gogh. When you see that artwork, you automatically know it's from that artist. With his work now being featured in galleries in Galveston, he hopes one day his art makes it to the same level. Brady's pottery is also gaining popularity. His pieces are each signed and individually numbered, making each unique piece even more valuable. They're very high style, and it's nice to bring it to our store. Aggie Leon Flowers is one local merchant that sells Brady's pottery creations. They're not only selling just a piece of pottery, they're selling an artist and they're selling a, a collectible piece of pottery. Everyone that does come in and walk around a store always notices our pottery and they say, like, where did this come from? If you don't push your product, you don't push your name as an artist, and then I can't get off first base. And right now, I'm just barely on first base. So I got second, third, and home plate to hit still, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be a while. <laughs> Here in the Brazos Valley, Shane McAuliffe, News 3.